I call Adrian Rurahui. A tēnā koe e te māngai o te oare, tēnā koe e tō mihi mai ki a mātou tēnei wahangau uh, o ki te oare e tēnei pō. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, I, I rise first of all to mihi out to all whānau who are in state houses tonight and may be watching the broadcast tonight because they'll be sitting there wondering what is, their, what is my future? What is my future in my home? Because they'll be sitting there wondering, hearing all of this all about this bill, uh, sir, tonight, wondering if they're going to still have a home to live in. Because this bill merely provides a mechanism for the government to sell state houses. That's how I see it. And I think that uh, the people at home in their state houses uh, not knowing what their future will be, uh, who will be their future private landlord, uh, whether a, pro a property developer is going to come along and redevelop their home into something that they can't afford. And that's my concern about this bill. It doesn't do what uh, the minister has said that it will do. Provide uh, more social housing. Well, I don't think so, because if you start with one set of so social homes, state houses, and then you sell them to someone else, that doesn't actually increase the number of houses that you've got. Potentially, I believe that it will reduce the number of social homes, because the only way to increase the number of social homes is actually to build more. And under our Kiwi Build policy, uh, that we campaigned on uh, last year, sir, that's exactly what we would have done. We would be, our solution to the housing crisis in New Zealand is to build more homes, more affordable homes for our people. This bill fails. It does not provide that. Uh, this bill does not increase the number of social homes. Um, sir, this bill actually is a reflection of uh, core National Party policy. In the 1990s, they sold 13,000 state houses. And this is a mechanism that the government is willing to use to make sure that they get rid of those homes so they get rid of their responsibility. Well, I'm here tonight, sir, to tell the House that I believe that despite this bill, the, the government must never and can never transfer its responsibility to Kiwi families that require social housing. That is a fundamental uh, way of life in New Zealand, sir, that people expect that we, we should be able to have clean, uh, dry homes, social homes that people can actually afford to live in. And this afternoon, sir, we, we heard uh, from uh, members across the other side of the House saying some amazing things that I, th I think to myself, I'm hearing the words, but it doesn't match up with what's on the table. It does not match up with uh, what is being presented here in this bill tonight. Uh, it, the, it, this bill actually will create opportunities, not for families, uh, opportunities for living in uh, social housing, but create opportunities for priv uh, property developers and private landlords. That's what this bill does. It attempts to transfer the responsibility of the government to someone else, and we're here to tell you that's just not good enough. That's not good enough in, uh, today, uh, and I think over the next uh, few hours, sir, that we will be hearing a lot more about uh, what should be happening in the social housing sector. Thank you, sir.